I'm here with Mark, and Mark is going to tell us all about computational fluid dynamics. So Mark, what is the value of having CFDs? Well, CFDs are a very valuable tool that we use. Uh, they allow us to build a virtual model of an existing data center. So we're able to go inside the data center, take uh, measurements, and uh, replicate all the equipment in a virtual world. That in turn gives us a very good idea of what's happening with regards to cooling inside that data center. Can CFDs tell you if you're saving value in energy or efficiency? Yes, a very useful tool for that. Uh, one of the principal reasons we use CFDs is allow us to see with an existing uh, data center, if we make changes to that environment, what it will do as far as savings and as far as capacities within the uh, cooling system, for example. So CFDs are very valuable in that they allow us to identify hot spots within the data center, problem areas, and they allow us to, if you will, test drive the car without buying it. Once we've created a baseline CFD of the model of the data center, we'll be able then to apply various known airflow management techniques and utilize different products to see in that virtual world what kind of impact that'll have. And that allows us to see where we can gain the most energy savings for the customer. Do you have any engineers that specifically work with CFDs at Sub-Zero? Uh, yes, we do, actually. Uh, outside of Bernard, who uh, has his niche, we have a number of uh, certified DCEPs as well as individuals uh, who do our, our CFD modeling. And uh, everyone, really, that's involved uh, in our business has had a lot of experience in applying the methodology with CFDs and understanding their significance and their impact. So uh, we use them as a valuable tool for our engineers. Well, as Mark said, Bernard here is already an expert, but I certainly enjoyed learning a lot about CFDs. Thanks so much.